Hey guys, David from The Unlocker here. Today I'm going to show you how you can root the Snapdragon version of the Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. What that means is essentially all of the US models. So even though we have root for the Snapdragon models, we can't flash custom recoveries or ROMs. But that doesn't mean that we can't still enjoy root access and that it's not worth it. There is a couple of really cool scripts that you can install right after rooting that will de-bloat it, get rid of all of the crappy software on it that you don't need, uh, and anything that can be downloaded from the Play Store, it will also remove that as well so that you can choose to download it. What a concept. Uh, it also has optimizations in it and does a bunch of other really cool things. For a list of everything, uh, check out that video after you're done with this one. Besides that, you can also install Exposed, which is a really cool uh, system for creating a lot of customizations within your stock ROM without having to flash a custom one. So, still probably worth it. Up to you, though. If you are interested, though, here's how to do it. Okay, before you begin, this will erase your phone, so be sure to back up anything that you might need. Uh, I'm gonna use a Windows computer for this. The programs that we need, like Odin, are Windows only, so you probably need a Windows computer. So this will give you root access, but you're not gonna be able to flash a custom recovery or custom ROMs. It's just not something that works on the Snapdragon devices. If you have an Exynos device, uh, there's a different method to root those, and that will allow you to do that. It's just the Snapdragon ones we can't do that with yet. Doesn't mean that there's not still, though, cool tweaks that you can do once you have root access, as well as use Exposed Mod to customize the phone. It's actually pretty cool. Next, just make sure that the secure boot in settings under lock screen is disabled or it will cause a big problem. Now, the first thing we need is we need the Samsung drivers and we need to set up ADB. So first, we're going to click on those drivers on the link beneath this video. Click that as well and save that to your computer. Once it's done, once it's done, we can open that and right click and extract all. Once that's done, we can double click that exe file and follow the prompts to install the drivers. So now that we can click on the how to set up ADB tutorial link I have here. Uh, underneath the video on my site. It takes two seconds to do. I have a video in case you need it, but it's basically just downloading this link here. Uh, we're gonna do that and follow all of the prompts to install it on our computer. It takes about 60 seconds. After that, we can download Odin and save that to our desktop. And we're also gonna need to extract that so that we have our Odin file inside. Then you're gonna download the rooted boot image for your device for any Galaxy S7 uh, Snapdragon version, you're going to click this link. For any Galaxy S7 Edge Snapdragon version, you're going to download this link. So I have the S7 Edge, I'm gonna do that. And save that, it will be a tar file, which actually looks like an archive that sometimes Windows wants to extract. Do not extract it, leave it as a .tar file. Okay, on the phone, we're gonna need to go to settings. Scroll all the way over to system, about device. Scroll down to build number and keep tapping on that till it tells you you are a developer. You can then hit back and tap on the new developer options that's appeared. Scroll down and turn on USB debugging. And we're also gonna turn on OEM unlock just to be safe. If it asks you for your pin, put that in as well. At this point we can plug the phone in via USB. Okay, then we're gonna turn the phone off. And we're gonna turn it back on by holding down volume down, power, and home all at the same time. Then it eventually give you this screen. We're gonna push volume up to continue, and it should be in download mode. Then we can right click that, run as administrator, and it should open up. Then we're gonna click the AP button here, and navigate to our .tar file that we downloaded earlier, click on that, click open, and click start, and wait for it to flash. Eventually, it'll say pass and the phone will reboot. You can then exit Odin. After that, we're going to install SuperSU by clicking the link beneath the video here to download the SuperSU installer. Once that's done, we can extract that, and we can open that, and you're gonna double click this root.bat command file and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, then when the phone reboots, we're gonna open the app drawer and we should be able to find SuperSU in there. 
tap that to open it and just make sure it doesn't ask for anything. If it does tell you that the binaries are outdated and it wants you to update, just ignore it. Do not click it. If you do, it could mess this up. So never update the binaries if it ever asks you to. And then we can check to make sure we have root access by downloading root checker from the Play Store, tapping verify root. Should pop up a super user request. We're gonna grant it. And it should say, congratulations, you have root. You're all set. And there you go. You can move on to installing Exposed and using that for customizing the phone. Or you can click the link below to be taken to my video on how to de-bloat the Galaxy S7. Worth it. I think you should do it. If you've gotten this far, you might as well. Just saying. Um, but there you go. If you guys have any issues with this tutorial, please click the link in the description to be taken to my site and comment there. I'll try to help you as best I can. At least over there, it notifies me when you comment, as opposed to here, it does not. Uh, there you go though. If you enjoyed this, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.